Hello and welcome back to our car up series. Now we have been working on our item boxes and now we need to actually work on our items. So let's have a look at how we can set up the different data assets we need for the items and start getting them on our characters. So yes, last time we made our boxes here and the boxes need to give us a randomized item reward. The items need to be created first though. So let's go ahead and create in our items here, the data asset we need for the items. So we're going to go ahead and create a blueprint class, search for primary data asset, and we're going to call it DA item. And now you set up the various variables that you want to have available to the player or to the game really uh, about each item. So you probably want the name. You may want a description as well. So you do it on like uh, menu screens and things like that. You tell the player what each one does. Icon. So when we show it on the screen, what's it going to look like? Texture. 2D. And uh, but the other important one is the class. So what is the actual class of the item that we need to spawn in? So we're going to create a BP item class. So let's create a new class here. It'd be an actor class, and it'd be BP item and so in our da item our data asset we can add the class as a variable and search for bp item there's a class reference okay so now we can set up the various different items so let's go to miscellaneous and go to data asset and choose our da item and from here we can put in the different items we have so we're going to do a few so we'll do an easy one which is a boost one so that'd be boost and um, we'll do another one to duplicate that and this one would be item missile so we're going to shoot a missile forwards and then hit anyone we want uh we're going to another duplicate here we'll do item uh, oil slick so you leave a drop a bit of oil on the floor so if you hit it or uh, spin out of control um let's pick one more let's go ahead and do um the stun that sort of slow mechanic sort of thing so it's done okay obviously do try and think of which ones you want to do here and if there's one particularly you want me to try and explain how to make do let us know in the comments below and we'll try and make it but in each one of these we need to identify which one is which by putting in details here. So let's call this one boost. And I need some icons here. So I'm going to go ahead and pause the recording while I'll go get some icons for you. Okay, so I've got my icons. Uh, one thing I did do was the oil one, I'm going to change to a frost one as I couldn't find an oil slick uh, image. But that's fine, we can work on that. So what I want to do is I want to have the icon for each one. So this is boost. So I'm only because they're white, I can't tell them apart. So there, there's the frost one. Uh, there's the stun one. Rocket. Boost. Okay. So 77 is that one. So let's go back to there and use the 77. And the class for this I need to create. So I'm going to go back here. And I'm going to create a child of our BP item. Item boost. Okay. Whilst I'm here, we'll do the other ones. Okay. I'll just rename this one whilst I'm here to Frost. There we go. Uh, yeah, so we're just going to go through each one of these and add them on. So here's Frost. We're going to add that into here. I believe that was that one. Yep. And we'll close that one. Item frost. 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 Close that. Go to the next one. Um, missile. And need the icon for that one. Nope, that's 52 I want. 
Eso. And lastly, we've got us done. And we're going to choose the stun feature, which is that one. Stun. Okay, so there's our four that we've got. Obviously, you can add more in whenever you like. But in the item box, we need to know which uh, item we want to pick from and how to randomize that. So, what we're going to do is we're going to go to the variables here and do item contents. And that's going to be a an array of DA items. And all we're going to do in here is add all four of our items here. Okay. Now, at the moment, we're just going to do them all equal in when you should get them. Uh, if you don't know, in Mario Kart, if you're in last place, you'll get more speed boost ones. Whereas if you're in first place, you'll get more like management ones uh, that you can use. So the better items are reserved for those who need them most. So in the reward item here, we're just going to, for now, just randomize them. So we're going to get item contents, random array item, and we're going to output that to the cart. Okay, give that the cart there. So let's go to our carts and set that up there. We give it a function, and we do award item and that's going to require the data asset for the item and for now i'll just put that as a variable keep it simple for now and in reward item we're going to do item reward okay so it's going to randomize the item like that so now the items can be awarded to the carts, and the carts now have this stored on their objects. But if you've ever played Mario Kart, you'll notice that when you crash into an item box, a little spinning wheel comes up indicating which one you're going to get. It randomizes and it goes really, really fast. Uh, we're going to do that effect. So if you want to watch how we do that in the next episode, head over to patreon.com forward slash Riley. We can watch that one right now, as well as all our other videos from just $1 a month. You get access to them early before anyone else. So a massive thank you to everyone over there supporting the channel and obviously make sure you subscribe to the channel and I'll see you all next time. Bye everyone.